Hey ho de ho and welcome to another tutorial with Flavito. Yes, that's me. Very brief, short, nice tutorial about how can I make a nice sequence. Um, I see many handpan players like kind of randomly playing on the instrument, which is totally fine. But if you have the feeling that you are doing this and you would like to bring a bit more musicality to what you do, then you are on the right place here. Um, continue doing your random playing and within this random playing maybe you start to find notes that you like. Like notes after each other, you know, like we have to take in consideration um, that the scale goes always up, right? Like up. I'm gonna show you. When I mean up, I mean this, right? We should already know that the scale goes up. You start with the left on the D, and then it's left, right alternating. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Going upwards. This concept of scale going up is important to, to understand with what we're gonna do right now. By the way, this is a F low pygmy 19, okay? I'm just gonna use the top notes for now. Um, you can do this with any scale, okay? So, um, I'm gonna try to find a couple of notes that I like in sequence. In sequence, I mean playing something from, from down up. Like I'm gonna... No. Ah. Okay, wow, I like this. Cool, I found something. Let's work with this. So let's exercise just these four notes. Always keep in mind to do it nice and slow, right? I'm like playing a bit too fast now because I don't want to waste too much of your time. Um, but if if you're not confident with playing this sequence, whatever, whatever notes you're gonna pick, just take it easy, like nice and slow, yeah? Right? Okay. Can I play this up and down? Because not right now I'm just playing it up. Let's try to make it a loop, playing it up and down means... Right? So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three, Two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, and so on. This is a loop, right? Great. This is the one. Um, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the the three notes that go up. I'm gonna change only the lowest note. Let's find something that suits this sequence, right? It has to be lower than the next higher note, right? Otherwise, it doesn't work. We're always going up. So maybe we'll be right this this note right here. This is a F. This is a G. Ah, it works nice. Cool. Back to the first one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that, that rocks. I played four times and then I change. I will exercise this until I have it. Four times change. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four and change. change one 
Once you got comfortable with this kind of sequence, um, you can expand and, and continue making the sequence interesting without changing hell of a lot of things. That's really the idea of the concept of staying in a concept, you know. If you start to change all the notes, suddenly you get lost. So we have to use limitations for our benefits. And this is a very good example. So we have this, we have this. I hear one more note going up from the low from the first note that I'm playing which is the lowest of the sequence right I will use this one. Oh yeah okay so now we have three low notes that are gonna be uh, alternating in the sequence right this and this Sounds nice? I think so. Now I could play this in so many different ways. As I did right now, I could play it uh, one, 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 and then start again, like that. One round, another round, and another round, and then start again. Right? I could play one of these three notes, the low notes, two times so I have a cycle of four for example the first one one two three four and start again one two three four right I could also play four times two times two times three four one two one two I really like that so we end up in a cycle of eight because I play this four times two times two times and then I start again it means the sequence is <clears throat> is eight bar long Again, the only thing that is changing in the entire sequence is just the first note, the lowest note, right? And the rest stays the same. And again, I would like to emphasize, please take your time, take it slow. Don't try to play it the speed I'm doing right now. I'm just doing it on this speed to not waste too much of your time. Otherwise, this video will get so long. Um, nice and slow this is the motto always so um, until here I'm really happy I feel that with the high notes I, I, I could I could also bring some more interesting uh, alternations so I will I will just try to change the last note so now we have the, the first note that we are changing in a sequence that's already happening and let's see what I can do changing the the last note the highest note of the sequence Let's keep it simple and stay on the first repetition, like the first low note, and I just repeat that. Right, this one. So maybe instead of this one, I will I will, I will play the next note in the in the scale, like just very very simple, like this one. Okay. Sounds really cool to me. Let's try it in the full sequence. And again, it's a very simple 
um, example that I'm just alternating between these two notes now while I'm playing the sequence down. This is an exercise that you have to get comfortable with changing something here and here as well. Like exercise it slowly, nice and slow. As I said in the beginning, let's just stay on one part of the sequence to keep it simple and add this new difficulty which is the high note changing it back and forward. And of course this is just a very simple example that it can be it could be uh, more complex, you could change to three notes, to four notes, you know. Okay, and so on. Like, it's up to you to explore the possibilities that are there. I'm just giving you a very, very simple structure where you can start to explore yourself. I hope you enjoy that. Um, I hope it's going to uplift your playing and make you feel better um, while expressing yourself. Um, and um, yeah, thank you for trusting my teachings and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Enjoy.